It's always the same problem. It's always this part here where it goes underground a bit and it's not really covered. So I've just moved these rocks out of the way. This is where we reverse the car. So the car just squashes all the rocks down and every so often blocks up the canal again. I need to fix this. I've been putting this off for so long. I really need to fix this. Should I dig up this whole thing? I want to lay these pipes underground and then cement all around them so that we're not just covering the canal with random pieces of rock and even a bag of compost <laughs> we were using at one point. Um, so that means digging up the whole section here inside that big pipe which is going to be almost like a tunnel. I'm going to put the narrow pipe, the smaller pipe and connect it up to the other pipes. Oh, I can't even think right now, it's too hot. If I don't fix this now, then I don't know what we're going to do with the car. Can't bring the car up here, can't get water up here, can't bring stuff up. 300 meter walk up to the fountain. I wasn't really planning on doing this now. We've got so much else to do. We've got the goat shelter half built. We've got a million other things, the drip irrigation in progress. Uh, but I do need to fix it. So I've just stopped the water from coming this way towards where I'm working by putting this little elbow on the end of the pipe here where it would be coming along the canal. So the water is just going into this deposit at the moment. I'm going to open the tap on this slightly so that it's draining slightly um, because it's obviously filling up as well. And that's how we're going to manage that situation. Let's give that. <laughs> Let's give this orange tree a bit of a water, I guess. starting this? <laughs> I don't know, ask me in two hours. I think I'm always close to getting this little hatchy thing out. That will be a good start. The thing is I have no idea how this channel was constructed. I don't know how much cement they've thrown in here. Maybe I need to see if I've got a friend with a jackhammer. Okay, this is where we're at so far. We've uncovered basically a slab of concrete down here. It can't be that thick because the water's going just underneath it, but it's a bit of a pain to dig out by hand. So we're gonna go and see if we can get a jackhammer. So we managed to get a jackhammer last night. We borrowed it off a friend and we're just going to go and get it from the car. Obviously we can't bring the car up to the house now because I've ruined the area where we used to turn the car around so we could get the car in but we can't get it out so I'll bring it as close as we can but now we're always going to have to <laughs> carry it the rest of the way, it's quite heavy. It's heavy. We've got this new camera as well, 
you might have noticed slightly different angles or shots that we're taking. We're using a GoPro. It's pretty cool because we can just take it with us and it's not like this huge camera that I used to use and drag around with me everywhere. Well, I'm still going to use that, but this is just super handy. So hopefully now I can show you more stuff on the move, places we go. You can attach it to the dog. We can attach it to the dog or the goats. <laughs> That's something we really want to try. <laughs> open we are so close my plan to stop the water coming didn't really work but yeah I guess I need to try and figure out something about that In case this is the first time you're seeing our weird water setup, our water comes in nine centimeter PVC pipes like this, all the way from a natural spring, which is about 300 meters away. I laid these pipes back in December and I basically just laid them the way that they've been laid um, by the previous owners. But the previous pipes which were in place were all, were all broken and damaged by the sun, um, so I had to replace them all. And I laid pipes like the owners had done all the way through our land on a long, long line, slightly inclined. Um, passing by various deposits where that water is stored and the pipes finished at this deposit behind me uh, There was no sign of any pipes after that and it was just an open canal and the water seemed to have just Flowed along the open canal instead of through these pipes. So not knowing why that was um, And also having run out of pipe. I left it as it was um, I didn't put piping any further and the water since then has just been flowing through this open canal which works okay apart from as you've seen the bit where it has to go underground and the canal keeps getting squashed by the car. So one thing that I've wanted to do since then um, was finish putting this piping along the final, I don't know, 20 meter section including the underground bit. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm just putting these pipes kind of in the canal and I think that's a better system because the open canal requires a lot of maintenance especially in the summer when algae grows in it. I'm always going in, scooping out leaves and bits of debris and stuff like that that's blocking it. And since it's quite a straight section, we can put these, these pipes in. Um, they're not flexible, so it has to be straight, the section that we want to do. There is a tiny section at the end that um, has some curves in it, so I won't be able to do that, but I think I can at least get the piping going a bit further. Okay, so that's the pipe in place going all the way back to the other deposit which is just there and I think basically from here onwards this section of the canal is where we would like to have the thick pipe forming like a tunnel, the thin pipe going through it and then cement all around it and that will give us six meters here where the pipe goes underground and there's cement covering it all over and that's six meters of area where we can safely reverse which is a lot better than we had before so i'm not going to put any more pipe in just now i think the next thing we need to do is see if we can enlarge widen this uh this canal bit here well as you can probably tell from my clean clothes and fresh face 
I've just had a shower and I think I'm done for the day. It's uh, gone three o'clock now, it's pretty hot. I think we're gonna go out to a medieval market in a local town and also go and check on my friend's Finca. She's away on holiday, so I'm just checking in on her animals and her veggie garden. So we're gonna go and see the donkey, maybe give her a little walk. Good morning! It's a lovely cool morning. The animals are all up. I've had my coffee and I'm out here starting work on widening this ditch. I'm actually really enjoying using the jackhammer drill hammer thing. Um, it's really satisfying and as far as power tools go it's not like a massively scary one so I'm quite enjoying using it. Oh hello Una, what are you doing? So yeah, gonna get cracking before it gets too hot.
I've just come up against this kind of rock here. Not sure what it is, but it's super, super hard to get through. It's kind of pinkish and glittery. You see it a lot in the walls of houses around here because it's uh, really solid. There's actually a lot of really good rocks coming out of here, so I'm looking forward to using them. Go on, off you go. Here's Tofu in the canal. What are you doing there, Tofu? He's been to the vets this morning to have a grass seed removed from his nose and he had to have some anaesthetic, so he's feeling a bit sorry for himself. But I'm not sure why he's decided that this bit of canal is the best place to be. After a lot more drilling and a lot more shoveling and then some more drilling and some more shoveling, I was finally able to return the hammer drill to its owner and get the big pipe in place in the trench with the 9cm pipe carrying the water running through the middle. It was a big milestone but I was far from done. I still had to fill in the trench with concrete which if anything was an even bigger job than digging the trench had been, not least because I had to go out and buy the cement and sand I needed in batches due to the weight that the car could carry and cart it all down the hill in a wheelbarrow because I still couldn't bring the car up to the house while there was a big trench in the middle of the driveway. Digging the trench and laying the pipe had taken me three days and filling in the trench took me another three days but I worked for much longer those days because I wanted to get as much concrete done in each block of time as possible so there weren't too many distinct blocks of concrete if you know what I mean. In the top layer I added some rods of metal rebar to reinforce the concrete and give it a bit more resistance against twisting forces and just generally make it stronger. At least that's what I was hoping because the last thing I want is for this tunnel to collapse as soon as I roll the car over it. Finally it was done and now I just had a huge pile of rubble to deal with. But I guess that's a problem for another day. For now I just swept it under the rug and put it with all the rest of the rubble in the ruin and I'm not going to think about that mess again for as long as I can help it. Well this is it, we're going out with the car and we're going to go over the tunnel, hope it doesn't collapse. Well, it survived. Well, <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to collapse. <laughs> I mean, it's not now, I think, that we need to worry about just going over at once with the car. It's like, will it still be there in three years? But, you know, dramatic effect. <laughs> So I've been back in the garden the last couple of days. Um, we've actually had, I think this is day five of slightly overcast, a lot cooler weather. Just as I say that, the sun's coming out, but it has been kind of cloudy and really nice um, for working in the garden. So I've been trying to make the most of those few days. Anyway, that's it, I think, for this video. Um, I had a lot of fun actually doing the trench project. I know it looked like a lot of work and it was a lot of work. But uh, before I finish this video, I just wanted to say it is. I did really enjoy it. I don't know how it's going to look when I've edited, edited it all together. It's probably going to look like it was a lot of work and maybe I hated it, but I actually really enjoyed the trench project. Um, it was hard work. It was probably the most like physically demanding thing I've done since we got here of all the projects. Um, but I actually really enjoyed it and I hope that kind of comes across a little bit in the video. It was nice to do something that was simple, like I knew what I was doing. It was just digging a hole and filling it in. Um, so in that sense it was good, you know, I could just get on with it, crack on and do it. And I don't mind, I like the physical work, I mean, people comment sometimes on the videos that it looks, you know, like it's too hard, I'm doing too much work, like I should take a rest sometimes, and you know, I, I appreciate your concern for how hard I might be working. But I'm only filming the bits where I'm working, I am also resting as well, and 
I really enjoy that kind of work and I really like the project and I don't think there's anything bad about hard physical work if you're capable of it and it's what you want to be doing so yeah I'm so glad that the water is now a little bit closer to how we want it to be and yeah had a lot of fun making this video I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one